What is going on guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and guess what time it is? You guessed right, it's quest shell time. I've been putting this video off for way too long now, so it's finally time to shoot them off. Uh, but before we do that, I do wanna show you a couple things on this box. Um, these are pretty famous shells, right? So a lot of people already know about them. I don't need to talk about them too much. You get 24 canister shells in the kit. They're by Brothers Pyrotechnics and they're called Quest Shells. Now these set me back 110 bucks, which isn't bad if you think about it. I've seen canister shell kits of this size go for 230 bucks at a retail store. One thing I wanna point out before we open this box is you'll notice on the stamp it says, Brothers, the original maker of canister shells. I don't know if that's true or not. Can any of you guys confirm in the comments below if that is true? Because I'd be really interested to know if Brothers Pyrotechnics invented the canister shell or not. Now, let's take a look at these things. Um, there is some tape here that I'm gonna have to cut with this. Um, I'm gonna try not to do any cuts in this video, but we'll see, I might mess up a whole bunch. Or this stuff is just gonna be really hard to get out of the packaging. That's usually why I have to cut a whole lot. Uh, okay, so your pretty standard looking sleeve, you get a fiberglass. I don't know, I probably shouldn't say that. I should look at it first. I think it's gonna be fiberglass that open yep we've got a standard fiberglass tube and i know it's kind of dark down there but that is a concrete plug in the bottom and a wooden base and i like they actually put the label around the tube so it's not exposed fiberglass you guys that have been watching me since day one know that i hate fiberglass i hate working with it it gets in your fingers and it's just horrible it hurts um and the only way to get it out is with duct tape so let's look at these shells. Now, right off the bat, um, I probably should have looked at these things a little closer in the store because I did not know that these shells weren't labeled. Uh, let's just look at them real closely. You'll see the warning label, the brother's logo. You get a plastic top on there, but no effect, which is a bummer because these are one of the most popular shell kits on the market. I know hundreds of you guys buy these things every year. I'm gonna take a look under the wrap. No numbers or nothing. All right, so all 24 of these shells, you're really going into this blind. Um, I already looked at the box. The front is the same as the back and they don't have a number system or even like a color pattern to follow to see which shell is gonna do what. And you guys know that for me, that's an issue when I'm trying to do firework displays. But uh, these shells in particular, I would probably use as finale shots. Part of my reasoning for that is because if there's no effect listed on the shell, I have no idea if I can match these up with cakes or not. When I'm doing a display, that is very important because if we're doing a wedding show, I've got to use certain colors. It appeals better to the audience. Anyway, these are going to be finale shells, at least until they add an effect on there. And so what I'll be doing is I'm using a 25 shot milk crate rack, which I'll show you here right now. So this is the rack that I'll be using and all 24 shells are going to fit in here. And then when I'm fusing them together, what I'm going to do is just piggyback each of these green fuses together. We'll send them all up in the air relatively around the same time. So I was going to zip tie all these fuses together, but now that I think about it, I think I'm just going to leave them all like this and then just kind of continually smack this rack with a torch. Uh, that way they won't all be going off at the same time and it won't look like a bunch of sky puke because I do want to see kind of what they look like individually. So I'll probably fire these in patterns of two or three and who knows, we might get one massive fuse jump and it'll just light six or seven of them at a time. I think that'd be pretty cool. Either way, we're going to go shoot them off. All right, guys, here we go. Without any further ado, let's test out these Quest shells by Brothers Pyrotechnics. May only get one here. Nice. Yeah, those are pretty good shells. Um, it's a shame they're not labeled for effect. Let's just see though, that first one was really good. Wow. Yep. Definitely some solid shells. All right, let's see if we can get a couple of them. There we go. Unbelievable. Man. Those, those are freaking noisy. 
Holy cow. Um, I want to film some of these in wide angle. All right, now we're going to do a few of these in wide angle. So here we go. I tell you what, um, I don't think I have ever been this impressed with a brother's pyrotechnic shell. Wow. Uh, so you guys are noticing a couple of those shells are like instant crackle and then the peonies. But yeah, a couple of those shells that were peonies, uh, they definitely seemed like color salutes. Uh, so we've got three shells left. I'm going to film these in uh, regular landscape. See when we get all three of them. Hopefully we get another crackle. Those are intense. Yeah, these shells, 10 out of 10. I highly, highly recommend them. Um, I can't believe I haven't shot these on the channel before this. These are super impressive. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.